Hey, this, this is Bob Carter with uh, Bob's Music Connection.com, and here we are at the secret rehearsal location of the band IOZ out of Atlanta, Georgia. And guys, uh, I just wanted to, you know, we're introducing you guys to the world here, uh, over here on, on Bob's Music Connection, and tell me a little bit about how the band got started and uh, sort of uh, what some of your goals are for the band. Well, we've all played in the same circuit for a long time. You know, we've all known each other for a really long time, and the three of us have been talking about starting a band for, you know, probably about five years now, but we were just all in different places. Met in this location, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Years and years ago, met, met here in this location. We were all in different projects, and we all kind of got split up for a while, and came back together about a year ago, I guess, and uh, started putting this thing together, and picked up Jeff here, you know, about probably three or four months into it, yep, something like that. Around the about way. And uh, just started writing music, working out of Zach recording, and, uh, you know, Daniel started working there with Jim Z <clears> probably <throat> about, what, four years ago or something like that. Just about. Mm -hmm. And uh, just started putting it together with the help of those guys and uh, Zach Crew and Jim Z and Tony Terrabone and all the engineers and interns up there. We were able to throw together an album. Christy. Yeah, yeah, Crispy. Big, big yeah, help. Big Crispy was a huge help. So uh, anyway, and that kind of brings us up to where we are now, just trying to go out and get some shows and play for people and get this album off and play some shows to support it. Right. Now, you mentioned that you you have a new album coming out. Uh, how, how soon is that coming out, guys? Uh, about two weeks. We're waiting on the prints right now. We just did the mastering. And yeah. Everything's done. Just waiting on it to come back. All right, for, for those that aren't familiar with IOZ, uh, you know, give them just a, a little preview of what they're going to hear on the album or what type of feel it's going to be, you know, the, the groove that you're trying to go for. Yeah, hear a right, lot yeah. of variety. Yeah. Yeah. classic rock sound to reggae to world groove I think that's one of the biggest strengths is that we all have a varied background mm. and bring it together for mm. a unique sound this fun for us to play and I think fun to listen to yeah it's a... but it's also tied together by the general sound of the band so it doesn't sound too different every time we go to another style you know it right. still sounds like us but I definitely tell people that it's it's it's, it's everything that each one of us have been influenced by has, you know, come together in this platform. And All the type of music I would yeah. love to want to play is right. being played. So, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Something right. familiar yet something yeah. new in yeah. everything that we play, which is yeah, refreshing as a musician. Mm -hmm. Uh, along those lines, you know, you mentioned, you know, it, it comes, you know, it's kind of a melting pot of all all the different influences that you guys have had. You know, uh, you know, each one of y'all just, you know, who, what bands in the past have have influenced you? But also, who are you listening to today? Mm -hmm. Why? Right. Um, you go ahead. <clears throat> well, I mean, it starts back as far as far. you know. Nirvana and Guns N' Roses for me, and then I moved on to Jimi Hendrix, and then Allman Brothers were a huge influence on me. Dwayne Allman was a huge influence. They got um, all of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, I, you know, we pull from that a lot. We pull from The Police, Talking Heads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, all, all kind of stuff. Well, what about you? You say you got to say uh, something. I, I come from all kinds of stuff musically. Uh, I mean, I originally started out playing in metal bands. Uh, I was really influenced by uh, Steve Harris of Iron Maiden and uh, the, the early Metallica with Cliff Burton, who was the Jocko of metal. I'm just going to point that out to the world. Uh, and then later on, started getting into the uh, early British art rock bands like uh, the original King Crimson, yeah. Yes, Genesis with Peter Gabriel and Steve Hackett, uh, all that kind of stuff. It really blew my mind. 
We're listening to Weather Report, right? Yeah, there. man. Yeah. Love yeah. Fusion. Man, that's fusion. A lot of jazz influence. We're trying yeah. forever. Maha, Maha Vishnu. Yeah, yes. exactly. Maha Vishnu Maha Orchestra. Guys, Herbie, I, Herbie Hancock. Yeah, right. Herbie yeah. Hancock. Yeah. Yeah. Herbie yeah. Hancock yeah. Huge, yeah. yeah. I, I guess I started personally. I started, you know, it was it's, it was in the church, gospel music, a small Definitely. town in Alabama, and I was singing in church choir. And uh, you know, before you know it, my mom's trying to make me go to piano lessons, and of course I don't want to go to piano lessons, so I chose to learn to play guitar. I taught myself how to play, and and it went from there to you know country music to hair bands to singer songwriter stuff to you know playing in, in a progressive rock band to, to this so uh, and i guess what i would be listening to now is mostly talk radio while we're making this album. <laughs> so how is talk radio influencing your music oh man it, it really when you it provides me with a good topic you you no it actually um for for some reason, I feel like I can be a lot more original with my music if I'm not particularly listening to one band or listening to a lot of music outside of what we're doing while we're writing it as, as a, you know, a lyricist and stuff. I want stuff that's fresh and something that's coming you know, from, from me and not necessarily from what I just heard the other day you know, while I was listening to music. So I guess it to me, I take a step back from it and take a step more towards this. And so, I don't know, maybe I'll get back into listening to music again sometime. But right now, I'm kind of working. There you go. There you go. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, as far as, you know, everybody knows how important the fan base is for any band. And you guys have been developing a good crowd here in Atlanta and, and reaching out beyond. Uh, what This is your chance. What would you like to tell, you know, your your, your potential new fans, and, and, and what would you like to say to your existing fan base? Shoot, I'd love to just reach out to people who love good music and, you know, like to come together and dance, people who enjoy having a good time, not just sitting, you know, on their hands at a concert, but like getting up, getting excited. Mm -hmm. We like to make the crowd sweat. You and know. actually, think we've got a positive message uh, right. to, to convey. Sure. Um, we, uh, you know, uh, you know, our songs and, and some of our lyrics. We take on some, some maybe some broader topics that are being taken on. Um, you know, some of our songs are about you know dealing with addiction or dealing with love lost and stuff like that, which are, are common topics, but. You know, sure. we're also we're, just we're, about we're, getting up in the morning. Yeah, and, just, and also just about yeah, 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 appreciating nature. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you know, so so yeah. It's, it's, I think with. I think they can be thought provoking, and I and I hope that you know we can gain fans by you know having some thought provoking music and thought provoking lyrics and that kind of stuff. That's great. That's great. Now, uh, what what do y'all have on on your table coming up? I know you've got uh, a gig coming up in Florida and. Uh, what 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 else? Uh, you know, this is your chance to pitch what you got coming, right? Well, our right, CD release right. party. Well, we've um, got yeah. The twenty seventh at the actual studio that we made the CD at at Zach Recording. We'll be playing right outside. Tenth anniversary, anniversary too. Of Zach tenth anniversary Recording. Tenth anniversary of Zach mm -hmm. Recording. So that's a big celebration, and we just kind of tied our CD right. release party into it. Right. And everybody's invited to come. Everybody. It's Everybody a party in the world. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, all right. Now, th this is one question I've been um, asking just about everybody. Let's say you knew your last gig was going to be coming up, you know, uh, as far as, you know, and, and then you're going off wherever. Uh, uh, who who would you want to play up on stage with you? What musicians would, would you guys like the opportunity to play with? Yeah, from what I've seen so far, I'd, I'd like my last gig to be with the guys standing right here in this room. Awesome. I really would. This, uh, they brought more to the table in, in music and in my life than any other group has for me. And the level of dedication and professionalism here is, is unsurpassed. It's, it's going to be with these guys for, for, my last, for my last gig because this is, you know. This that goes is, without saying mm -hmm. for me, too. Yes, it does. This, I mean, I this can't is really my dream band. I can't really think this of anyone yeah. that I... That I you know, would really want to play with. <laughs> mm -mm. It's the most yeah. enjoyable band I've ever no, played in. Nothing against wish, anybody, nothing you. against yeah. any other musician out for there. Sure. I respect and love love them all for right. what they do, but uh, this group has something special, and we have a special mm -hmm. bond uh, and, 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 and special chemistry within us that it's, it's who I want to be playing with.